What's up you guys, I'm Eric and welcome back to my channel, No, You Grow Up. In today's video, um, I'm going to be doing a type of video that I haven't done yet. So I've kind of been pretty much just sticking to like collection tours, video essay style videos, um, but I'm going to do a top 10 video today. So today's top 10 is going to be my top 10 NECA Toon figures. Um, yeah, this is my top 10, totally subjective, totally my personal opinion. Um, my opinion is not any more valid than yours. Again, everybody has different tastes, everybody has different opinions. These are just mine, so yeah, we'll get into it. Alright, so for my first top 10 list, I wanted to kick things off with my NECA Toon collection. It's my biggest collection. Um, I think I'm closing in. I have just under 100 figures altogether, counting multiples of army builders and stuff like that, but not counting like roadkill Rodneys or Mousers or anything like that. Um, I have every figure that's been released at retail other than Toka and Razar, so hopefully I'll be able to pull those guys this weekend, but felt like this was as good of time as any to make this video. Alright you guys, so I started this by just picking out a bunch of my favorite figures. Um, I was just grabbing ones that I liked and then... Once I got to 15, um, that's kind of randomly just when I counted and I happened to be at 15. So from there I had to pick my top 10. So um, it was actually kind of a difficult choice, um, but I'll give you the runners up right here. So these are the runners up um, and any given day they could probably make it into my top 10, but this particular day I just did not feel like putting them in there, but all great figures. Um, that Pizza Monster especially, he's one I'm really happy to have. That's one of my favorite episodes from when I was a kid. It's one of the VHS tapes I had. Um, another one is that Slash figure. Um, I, it's definitely my least favorite version of Slash, but Slash is still one of my favorite characters. So, still just cool to finally get an actual cartoon representation of him. Um, yeah, so these are the ones that didn't make the cut. Um, but again, if I ever do another top 10, one of these could end up in there one day. So, yeah, moving on to the actual top 10 here. Alright, so now that we've got the honorable mentions out of the way, we are left with my top 10. Again, this top 10 could change from day to day, week to week, month to month, um, but a lot of the figures that are in here would probably be in here most of the time. Um, again, some of the stuff from my runner-ups just might be in here. Just kind of depends on how I feel. You notice there's a little bit of recency bias going on. Um, I, I just, I really am just super happy with the Crooked Ninja Turtle Goon um, and the Smash figure. They just came out super awesome. Like I said, definitely just didn't expect to like those as much as I do. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to start picking off figures one by one until we're down to my favorite figure. So we'll get going and start this countdown. Alright, so kicking off this countdown is Scumbug, um, and I think he is just NECA when they are in stride and they are just doing everything right. Um, his sculpt is awesome, his deco is awesome, like he's a figure that just came out perfect. Um, I think him and Antrax are probably the strongest two-pack, honestly. Um, I think they're the only pack mates that made the top 15 for me. Um, yeah, they're both great figures. Either of them could have made my top 10 either day, but Scumbug was the one that cracked the top 10, and yeah, he's a great figure. Alright, coming in at number 9 is Shredder. Um, so this is the Shredder from the second wave that came out, so the one that came with Krang. Um, I have the original one still in package with the style guide Leo, and he does have a little bit of different deco. Um, his mask is cell shaded a little bit different, um, and I think there might be a couple other differences in the shell, cell shading, which is the big thing. But yeah, I think he's just, I mean, they kicked off the line great. He was probably one of the strongest figures to start with. Um, he looks awesome. He's definitely starting to show his age a little bit. I feel like he's probably going to be one of the first figures to get the... Um, redo treatment after the turtles um so i can't wait to see what they do next but he's still one of my favorite figures i think he looks awesome um yeah a cool figure all right coming in at number eight is the crooked ninja turtle goon um like i said in my video um that i just posted on my updated collection tour i just i can't believe how cool these figures look um they were probably my least anticipated out of this wave of figures we're getting right now and I mean they're some of my favorites. These guys look awesome. Um, they're just figures that you just smile at every time you see because they're just ridiculous. Um, when I was 
taking them out of the package and setting them up on my display. I was watching that episode. Um, it's one I watch all the time because I always pop in the second season disc because it just runs for a long time, so I always put that one on. Um, yeah, one of my favorite episodes and just really happy to get these guys. Alright, coming in at number 7 is Smash. So, um, again, just like the goons, like I just wasn't really expecting a lot out of this guy. And I just love how he looks. I don't know what it is, but I like the rubbery figures a little bit better. I just like the way they feel and the way they look a little bit more. I know not everybody likes the shine as much, but I think these guys look great, man. His shirt just looks awesome. Um, again, there might be a little bit of recency bias here because I just got these guys, but I freaking love them. Um, just having the whole gang together. I ended up getting four of the goons. They just look so awesome. And again, just really happy to have figures that we've never gotten before. Alright, so this is where things really started to get hard. That's what she said. Um, my top six, um, again, this is where things could kind of be mixed up from here inside this top six. Um, anything from seven to my 15 could also be mixed up in any order but this is where it really starts to get solid for me so coming at number six is rat king um this is i feel like where NECA kind of started to take a turn so when this two pack came out i feel like there was like kind of a significant shift from their like first few waves of figures to their more modern figures um he just looks awesome his deco is spot on um, his sculpting is spot on like all the stitching in his clothes just looks so awesome I'm um, glad we got all these rats now um, with the mouser pack so yeah he's probably one of my favorite figures well, he has one of my favorite figures my six currently actually um yeah he's an awesome figure all right coming in at number five is mondo um, and again, he's just, everything is done just perfectly with this figure. His sculpt is spot on. His deco is spot on. Um, he just looks freaking amazing. His board is probably one of, if not the best accessory that we've had so far. Plus, he came with Kerma. Um, just a great value for that pack. Um, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot to say about him. Um, just wasn't even one of my favorite Playmates figures as a kid, and he's definitely one of my favorite in this line. Um, yeah, just an awesome figure. Um, really happy to have him. Alright, so if you've seen my video about what I love about the Super 7 and NECA Toon lines, um, this might come as a bit of a surprise as I praise this figure as the best in the line, but. Um, Brown Chuck is coming in as my number four figure, so um, yeah, he's an awesome figure, he's amazing. Objectively, I do think he is the best figure in the line. Um, his sculpt is amazing, his deco is amazing. Like, It's just everything that I wanted out of the Playmates figure, and that figure is probably the most disappointing figure to me in the whole line. Um, he's just so puny, he just got really weak deco, and this figure just made him look the way he's supposed to. Um, He's definitely my most anticipated character that hasn't been announced yet for the Super 7 line. I can't wait to see what they do with him. Um, yeah, but NECA killed it with this one. Um, I think this is the best they've done so far at any figure. Um, sculpt deco wise, um, he's just about perfect. So, yeah. Alright, so. The thing that's going to separate all the figures in the top three from the rest in the top six are just my extreme level of bias towards these characters. So coming in at number three is Casey. Um, he is probably my favorite, or he definitely is my favorite non-turtle turtle character. Um, I, I just love him. I love this figure. It came out so good. Um, it was Again, I think he was the first figure in that third I don't really don't know how they break up their ways but like what I call the third wave um he's one of the only figures in my entire collection that I did not get at retail um I did pay aftermarket um for this figure because I had to have it um I wasn't gonna not get this I got it early enough on before it really skyrocketed but there was no way I was gonna collect this line and not have this figure in my collection so again paid a little bit of a markup for him but couldn't be happier to have this guy in my collection all right 
right, so coming in at number two is the new updated turtle molds. And I, whenever I have the turtles, um, they're all the same mold, you know what I mean? But Raph's my favorite figure, so he'll always be the turtle that represents the figure for me. Um, yeah, they just, they killed it with these. Um, the first molds, the first figures were good. These just, I mean, I don't want to say they make them look terrible, but they are just so much better. It is almost unbelievable. Um, with some figures, it's hard to see how they could really improve that much, but I mean, you can tell, like, they have learned a trick or two since they've started this line. Um, th like, uh, these are, to me, the premier Toon Turtles now. Um, I love the SH Figure Arts Turtles. I just did a video on those. Um, but these guys just look amazing. The expression in their face, the detail. Um, I prefer the style guide ones over the um, dark ones that came in the Turtles in Disguise ones. Um, yeah, but these guys, they just NECA killed it. Um, I couldn't be happier with these, and I'm just glad that I ended up getting a couple sets of these. One to keep in package, and then one to play with. Alright, so my current favorite NECA Toon figure is Miyamoto Usagi, or as most people refer to him, Usagi Yojimbo. Um, and to me, Usagi is a lot bigger than Turtles. Um, I love the Usagi comics. Um, it's one of the few modern runs of anything that I still collect. Um, I have the 2012 Usagi figure and I don't even have any of the 2012 Turtles anymore. Um, anything that I can get from Usagi I'm going to take. Um, in NECA, they fucking killed it with this figure. Um, he is perfect. Like the, he, I, I really don't know what to say. Like He is perfect. He's simple, but just done so well. Like I just couldn't be happier with what they've given us. Um, yeah, I really don't have anything else to say. They killed it on this one. He's my favorite figure, and it's probably going to be a while before anybody takes that top spot. Alright, you guys. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, let me know what you think. If you think I'm a moron and all my picks were terrible, let me know. Um, yeah, I had a ton of fun making this video. Um, it's just nice to be able to make these like shorter videos um, between doing the longer like essay style videos. Um, and yeah, it's, I had a lot of fun making this. So I'll probably start doing some more top ten videos of different sorts. Um, yeah, um, thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you to all my old subscribers. Thank you guys just so much for watching my videos. Again, just the fact that you take time out of your day to watch this stuff is just awesome. Um, but yeah, um, take it easy, be safe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.